Hey everyone, um, just giving you an update as to what happened yesterday. Um, so I went to my therapy, got my recommendation letter, so that's like one step out of the way. Um, 50 billion more to go. <laughs> um, yeah, I need to set up my appointment with my doctor now and run blood work and all that crap, so. Um, I'll keep you posted on that if you care to know. Um, also yesterday I went to my first support group meeting, um, found the building. They actually had a meeting t this, uh, this evening. I knew it was the first, uh, the first, uh, first Wednesday of the month, so I know that they're going to me be meeting there. I'm not sure what to expect. Um, so I walk in the main door to the building and, you know, it's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like a gay pride float, like the inside of it. There's like rainbows everywhere, um, you know, <coughs> excuse me, um, banners, stickers, um, buttons, flyers, everything to do with being gay, lesbian, bisexual, um, all over the place. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> I hope I have the right spot. Um, I hear some chatting, some talking, so um, I'm thinking, well, this must be the place um, where the meeting's being held. So I walk towards the noise, and I look into the room, and there's a pretty large group of people there. And I'm like, wow, I didn't think there was going to be this many people. And so I'm looking into the, to the room, and I notice there's a lot of guys. And I'm like, okay, the guys outnumber the girls here. Either the guys are not, like, in very early stages of transition, or there's just a large abundance of, um, of male to, or female to male transsexuals in there. Um, so I was wrong on both counts, though. Um, here's what happened. I poke my head into the room, and a guy asks very politely, he's like, Can I help you? And I'm like, um, yeah. Um, I'm wondering if I'm in the right spot. And he says, Well, that depends. What are you looking for? And I said, well, um, I'm looking for the, um, transsexual support group. And, like, in an instant, his face just went from, like, Hi, how's it going? I'll polite to like, oh. And here's his response. His response was, oh, well, they meet down there past the bathrooms. Like, I'm like, oh my god, are you kidding me? It's like he was like disappointed. Maybe he thought I was like a lesbian or something. I don't know. And he was all cool with that, like, ooh, another lesbian, you know. But as soon as he found out I was trans, he's like, like that. I was like, oh my god, that's freaking ridiculous. Oh, just drives me nuts. What? The guys are like fighting for equal rights, but yet he can't treat me with enough respect, like, to keep, like, to talk to me like a normal human being like he was before. Like, when he thought I was something else, he was, like, all friendly. But then when it turned out that I wasn't what he thought I was, that, you know, he's going to treat me different now, that's a bunch of crap. So anyway, I'm like, okay. Um, I walked out the door and um, walked down the hallway. Past the bathrooms. And uh, <laughs> I walked into the little, uh, to the little cage where... Um, they have our meetings. So I got down there and sat down and there's a girl reading a book and her name ended up being Bree. And um, I started chatting with her. Um, you know, there was only one girl there. I'm like, wow, this is not, not as big as I thought it would be. Being the first of the month, my therapist said that it was going to be, you know, a pretty large, you know, a larger size group. And one person is not a large group to me. Um, so I was like, well, maybe she meant 8 o'clock and not 7.30, and she just wanted to make sure I was going to be there on time. So I sat and I waited, and I waited, and I was checking my watch, and uh, 
at around quarter to eight, two more ladies walked in, and um, turns out that you know one of them was transsexual, one of them was her sofa or sofa, however you want to pronounce it, um, significant other. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so there's four of us, and I guess um, there's normally more. Because they started making phone calls, or made a phone call to someone who's normally there, and um, that person said they were going to be there next week, so. But anyway, yeah, it was just the four of us, and the this hair. I hate first day hair. Um, so yeah, it was just the four of us, and so we just pretty much shot the crap and talked about our transitions, and, um, you know, they were asking me where I was from, and. Blah, 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 so, you know, um, it wasn't that bad. Um, normally, I guess they go out for dinner afterwards, and um, I had to get home because it's another, you know, it's an hour and a half drive for me to get back home, so um, I couldn't do that with them. Plus, the, uh, one of the girls wasn't feeling good, so she wanted to get home and rest. And so, but yeah, I'm hoping to go back next week, and if I have the time and the money to pay for the gas, um... But yeah, so it was fun. I mean, I enjoyed talking to people in real life about um, everything that was going on, you know. So, um, what else did I have to talk about? Oh yeah, the girl that um, I used to go out with, my ex-girlfriend, is back up in Michigan now. And she dropped me an email, so um, she left her phone number in it, so I called her the day after. And... Or was it the same day? Later on that day? I don't know. Something like that. Um, anyway, I, chat, I sat there and chatted with her um, about everything that she went through. You know, I guess I guess apparently he was abusing her physically and verbally um, while she was pregnant with their second child. So. Um, so yeah, she apologized to me. I don't know what for, but you know, you make your decisions, you live with them. That's the way life goes. So, um, I will keep in touch with her as a friend, not not anything more. Um, I'm not gonna put myself in that situation again. Um, as President Bush would say, "Fool me once, uh, shame on you." Uh, Shame me twice, fool me again, something like that. I don't know. <laughs> However, President Bush said it. But yeah, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Is how it's supposed to go. But um, anyway, yeah, not falling for that crap again. Um, plus, I'm I'm in a different part of my life, you know. I don't um, and I don't plan on intending going backwards anytime soon. Um, maybe when I'm 80 or so, I might. Um, recollect about the old times. That's about as far as I'll go as um, taking steps backwards. So yeah. Um, what else? Hmm. I guess that's about it. Um, I guess I'll keep you posted on what else happens with me when I get my doctor's appointment and things set up and um, any other things I want to bitch about later. So I'll talk to you then. Bye.